Hey, hey, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. And today we have something real special for you Star Wars lovers out there. Yep, from Gentle Giant, we have the child in co-pilot seat. One in two scale um, statue. Yeah, one in two scale, meaning it is half the size of what this actually be in real life. Technically, this is probably the biggest statue we ever looked at. Mm -hmm. It's almost life size. It is, and it, oh my gosh, it is heavy. Yeah, you guys, this thing is a behemoth, <laughs> and uh, I'm so scared of what's going to look like outside of the packaging. I'm so excited. There's been a lot of Baby Yoda merchandise. Mm -hmm. Call him the child, call him Baby Yoda. I don't care. Uh, but mm -hmm. there's been a lot of merchandise, and this one has really caught my attention because it's cute. It's extra Star Wars because it's got the Razor Crest seat, and it's, it's just so Grogu is so cute. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of the main thing about just this. Like yeah, real quick, we'll talk about this box. It's the same as all the Gentle Giant mm. boxes. It's just black. Yeah. It, none more black, as they'd say in Spinal Tap. Yeah, I mean, they got pictures of it on the side. They have Mando holding baby Grogu. You know, like, yeah, th there's not much to this box. Yeah, and being that it's Gentle Giant, there's no bios. There's yeah. no credits to the artist. They kind of just credit the entire Gentle Giant team. They yeah. leave it very broad in that sense. So, yeah, there really isn't much else to talk about here. So I think we got to unbox this thing, shall we? Yeah, yes. let's... Let's, let's try this. Well, that was easy. It's already open. Uh, <laughs> and here is our numbered card. We'll get a shot of that. Here's our numbered card. Let you know that, yeah, because each one of these is individually numbered. There are only 5,000 pieces total in this series. Yep. All right, so uh, I guess we're going to try and open this thing somehow. Now you can get an idea of how heavy this thing is. Oh, my gosh. It is quite heavy. Yeah, so I think we're going to slide this out gently. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. This is a big box. It's a beautiful box. Can I cut? Can I cut? Can I cut? Please don't cut yourself on camera. This isn't Faces of Death Star Andrea. Could be. That was the sound of flesh ripping open, wasn't it? I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, oh my god, he's so cute! Oh my god, he is heavy. So our child is wrapped up in another plastic bag. Our right? child? Yes! He acknowledged it! It's ours! Me and my big mouth. Friggin' time. Oh my god. So that's our baby Yoda. <laughs> oh, it's our baby girl grew. Okay, I need to look at this. Yeah, it's really heavy, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we're, not, we're just not going to use the green screen at this point. We're just calling it here. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, wow is one way to put it. So yeah, as I mentioned at the start of this video, this is a 1 to 2 scale. So it's basically half the size of actual Baby Grogu and the Razor Crest seat. And it is really adorable, isn't it? Oh my god, it's so good. And sorry, you, you guys know that I love my texture. Well, this is loaded with it, surprisingly. I know, that's why I'm now like just putting my hands all over it. This is incredible. I mean, this clothing looks real. I mean, certain spots you know that it's absolutely not, but there are other areas like down here and on the sleeve where it looks absolutely real. And that's just beautiful. I like how his toenails are, you know, polished. Yes, they're very nice nails, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks like he got a pedicure of some kind. Yeah, there's different types of texture on him, too. I mean, there's the texture of the more furry part on mm -hmm. his sleeves and his collar. Then there's whatever this kind of almost like burlap rough material is for the rest of the piece yeah. there. And then there's also the chair cushion oh itself, God. which has got its own special unique texture It's as a well. leathery texture. Yeah. And that's just, oh my gosh, it's so nice. There's Grogu's texture, and there is definitely a little bit. It's not just like in his little wrinkles up here. Um, you can see the difference. Yeah. You know, his ears are much smoother than right here. It's his little rubbing spot. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of texture here uh, on, the, on the front of this guy, on baby Grogu. Oh, the back is not so much. The back is way smoother, as you guys will see here. Yeah, the back is just the back of a metal chair, so, you know, yeah, not it as makes exciting. Sense. Oh, my <laughs> Still very nice, though. I mean, you can even see the little seatbelt there. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, God, I'm, like, going to stick my finger in his eye. Yes, yeah, so that's kind of the cool thing is the eyes are reflective. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know if you caught on to that, but they're reflective. Really? I'm looking at myself in the eye. So, yes, yes, I've caught on to it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I love how he has the little piece of the joystick in his hands also. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he's just, he is too cute. Oh, my yeah, God. The facial expression is adorable. That's, that's totes adorbs, as they would say. They don't say that anymore. Oh, well, I'm bringing it back because okay. baby Grogu deserves it. He's just, oh my gosh, this is too cute. And the paint also, you haven't even thought of that yet, because yeah, the texture is really amazing, but the paint helps elevate that too. Oh well, yeah, of course. We should have with gentle giant statues, they keep things still fairly simple. Mm -hmm. Nothing's overpainted, nothing's really overdone. No, but there's depth to this. There's a lot of depth to it, yeah, especially in the head. You know, he is, he does have basically, I think, three tones in the in the face and the green skin. Uh, we also got rosy cheeks. Mm -hmm. His eyes have a little bit so of that cute. light pink color that he has too. You know, he's got the gold, the, the shiny gold for his na nails, you know. 
<laughs> I'm just like, he looks like he has a pedicure, but I know that's supposed to be his real toes. Yeah. Which is just hilarious to me. The seat cushion is also really nice, too, with the paint job. Again, very simple, but that, it's cool, too, how they look very different. Like, you can tell mm -hmm. this is, like, how it look on a person or a creature mm -hmm. versus what an inanimate object would look and how light would reflect on that type of yeah. texture, on that type of material. I guess that's really one of the things that you could say that Gentle Giant is really superior at, is they understand how to catch the way the light you know, reflects off of things because you, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks as though this is just mostly two tone the chair. You yeah, know? pretty much. Yeah, because it looks like it's the base color and then some nice um shading. Yeah, nice dark color. Yeah, but with Gorguru, you can see that there are, you know, there's more than two tones in there. There's at least three, who knows how many more. Uh, but I don't think there's like that much more, but you can, you can tell the difference. Yeah, there's really not much. It's just, yeah, they, they just do just enough to help let nature do its course also. Let, yeah. let natural lighting also do what it's going to do to the statue. Oh, even with his clothing, there's definitely a little bit of something going on there, but it's not much. Yeah, it's very minimal, and that's why it works also. Yeah. It's not overdone whatsoever. They know how to do this right. Now, the choice of pose, too, it's very whimsical, very mm -hmm. fun, very lighthearted. You know, it wasn't too long ago that we took a look at a Mandalorian figure, a figure of Din Djarin, of him basically in his pre-silver foley best guard outfit. And, you know, that was, like, way more dramatic because he's got his flame on, he's, you know, all posed for action. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Yeah, that sounds like Din. But meanwhile, Baby Yoda's like ready to play and just having the time of his life in the seat. I know, he's all like, all's good. Yeah. Like, dude, chill out. That's part of why he's Baby Yoda, because he's lighthearted and fun. I feel like him in the chair, though, scale-wise, might be wrong. Because I feel like he was smaller than the chair in the series, right? Was it me, or, or what do you think here? I well, mean, he is smaller than the chair small, here. Small, but even at this, you know, keep in mind it was double the size. Does no, 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 I think this, right? this looks right. I feel like he would have been a little bit smaller. No, I think this is right. Because it still looks fine either way. And the thing is, even if he was, even if he was a little bit smaller, I think this is the pr the proper scale for this statue. Yeah. I have no problem with them scaling him up a little bit if that's what they did. I don't think they did. No, I think yeah, I think for the most part, I mean, I'm okay with how it looks. It's not like it's gonna throw me off that much. <laughs> this is just so cute. It is amazing though how dense the feeling the statue is. Consider how small oh it is, like how solid this thing is. You could crush a man's head with this. Oh yeah. You know how we joke about how, you know, some of these statues can be, can easily be used as weapons? This one can, but it's actually too heavy to comfortably lift. This is more of a home alone trap when you have time to prepare yes. for invaders. Yes. This is where it comes swinging down, whacks him in the face instead of a paint bucket. Exactly. Oh, that would actually be hilarious. Think about it. It's not, it's not a paint bucket. It's Baby Yoda! <laughs> You've been charged with manslaughter, death by child statue. <laughs> death by the child. Either way, I mean, but, oh gosh, yeah, this has some serious... Don't get a hernia trying to lift that thing. To be fair, I actually put it down on my finger earlier, and that was a mistake. That, that <laughs> yeah, hurt, yeah, yeah that, that was bad. Uh, yeah, and again, like, you know, the, we should also talk about the base a little bit, too. The base is very simple. Uh, it's... It looks like it belongs in the ship. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out if it was, like, any certain symbol of anything, but no, it's just kind of part of the ship, I yeah. guess. It's, yeah. Uh, it's it's nice, you know. I feel like you're not gonna ever really see the back of this thing much, but it is very nice too. It's a really yeah. cool back. But for the most part, it's gonna be posed basically just like you see it right here. Okay, I know this is such a weird little thing, but since I keep talking about his toes, I just want to point out that the fact that his toes are pointing in different directions, you know, like one foot's up and this one is, you know, a little crooked and it's sticking out. I just think that's adorable and it adds to the lifelike quality of him you know, the child. I agree, because at the end of the day, it is a child, so it's going to be, you know, having its legs akimbo, and it, it feels like it actually w would be something we see on screen. Exactly. Like, it feels like there's really good movement here. It does, yeah. It feels lifelike. Oh, yeah. So I'm looking at the collar inside his collar, and that... <laughs> no, that's also a different texture. Yeah, it's like a, it almost looks like snakeskin. That is so cool. There's too much texture here. <laughs> I, I mean, there really, yeah, there really isn't, because this is so accurate i'm just i'm a little blown away by just how accurate they all this is with all the different texture but the big question here is is it worth the price because this is over 200 dollars, believe it or not because this is a limited edition piece as we mentioned only five thousand these exist and it is solid i mean like i said it, that's really the big thing is why it's costing so much is because the material and yeah i mean this thing is legitimately very heavy i'm gonna be honest i think it is worth the money this is quality this is a hard Poor quality. We, you know, we've reviewed plenty of other statues, and some are hits, some are misses. But in general, they're all pretty solid quality, as especially at their varying price points. But you can see that this is like next level. Yeah. You know, th this is honestly just 
That's what you elevated. expect with Gentle Giant. Yeah, exactly. That's what you come to know from them also. Yeah, yeah, I think it's worth it. It's worth the price point. Yeah, it's not a $50 PVC statue. This is, mm -hmm. I believe it's polyresin. It, this thing is, is heavy and it's legit. It's got some excellent work on it. I mean, really, it's it's definitely light years above what we've typically seen a lot of other pieces. This oh, is yeah. like, when you think high-end statues, this, this is, is what we're what, talking about. Yeah, this is a showcase piece, you Definitely, know? yeah. You gotta find a showcase to support this weight. But, yeah. That, yeah, that's actually something you do have to worry about. Finding a shelf, a table, wherever you're going to put it, make sure it's very sturdy. And on that note, too, for any collectors out there, how are you showing off your Gentle Giant statues? Because things like this that are so heavy, what do you do to make sure that they don't break? Yeah, that's a really great question, yeah. Please tell us. We need to know. We need suggestions because we don't know what we're doing. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that is our look at the Star Wars child in co-pilot seat from The Mandalorian got great likeness, great texture, oh, lovely reflective eyes. He's so cute. Whimsical pose, really cool really cool base and, and setup and how it's all put together. It's an expensive piece, but we agree it's worth yeah. the money. Now I'm just like... Okay, it makes me want to go to Star Tours, okay? All right, well, I've got no problem with that. See, I want to go to Galaxy's Edge. All right, well, that'll be for our next video, I guess. Yeah, right? we can dream. Yeah. So until then, until our dreams come true, uh, I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. And we'll see you guys here next time on Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching.